Hi guys! So I got some more questions and that's basically all what this video is. And my couch is in the back again. It's got more cushions so it's a bit more colourful. I got a whole bunch of questions from one Tumblr user. I really hope I pronounce it right. Kateja Abdul Salam. I hope that was okay. I'm terribly sorry if I pronounced it wrong. Okay, so I think she goes by the name Kaja by the title of her blog. Okay, um, so she's got a whole bunch of questions here. What do you do to relax at the end of a stressful day? I just go on Tumblr because like I said before, I don't really leave it. It's all I ever do. And it's not like my happy place. I might listen to music or watch a TV show. Are you a very affectionate person? I think I am, but I don't express it a lot because I kind of feel like I'd creep people out if I was overly affectionate. So in my mind, I'm an affectionate person, but I don't express it because oh, people have boundaries. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Oh, I don't really have a set thing. I just eat leftovers. Sometimes I don't eat breakfast, I snack. And mostly I just have tea or coffee because who doesn't like to start their day with a bit of caffeine, really? I haven't eaten cereal for five years. Shark diving, bungee jumping, or skydiving, and why? I didn't read this question last night. Oh my god. They're all a bit extreme for me. Oh man, oh, I probably would go shark diving because I feel like that's the only one that nothing could possibly go wrong. I hope bungee jumping, I would be terrified that the cord would break. I'm not really an extreme sports kind of person uh, and skydiving absolutely terrifies me. I don't know why people do it. I can't jump out of a plane and plunge through the air for like 10 minutes hoping that this piece of material is going to save my life. I can't do that. What is one of the weirdest things you used to do as a teenager? I did a lot of weird things so I can't really pick one and I'm not good at specifics either. So just in general, I was a weird person and trying to think of one instance where it really stood out is really hard. I don't really know. I would just generalize. I was a weird teenager and I probably still am. I know I am actually, yes, I still am. Okay, so... Oh. It's not really weird, the only thing I can think of is that I started food fights between my group of friends and then somehow involved a few other people. I don't know if that's a weird thing or not, but I would do things like that. And basically I would do anything to get other people to laugh, so that probably entailed a lot of weird things. If you could trade lives with one other person for an entire day, who would it be and why? Oh my god. One person. Uh, it would have to be somewhere between either Hayley Atwell or Elizabeth Henstridge. Just because they're two people that I really admire and they're both gorgeous, they're both very talented, they both look like they have a lot of fun throughout their day, whether it's acting or just being their general self. I can't pick just one. No, I can't pick one. Because I've seen them both on Twitter lately and they both look like they're enjoying themselves. Maybe... Elizabeth? I think I feel like I'm leaning more strongly to her, but I can't really specify why. I just feel like she would be the person more. Oh man, don't make me choose. Yeah, I'll just say both of them for now.
But now I will. How did you meet your best friend? Uh, it's not really an exciting story. I we just met at school. We were in grade six, and there were two new girls. Um, they were both in class next door to me because we had two grade six classes. They both arrived, I think, on the same day. But yeah, um, actually, one of them. Um, she moved in up the street from me and we somehow found each other during the school holidays and we befriended each other from there and then she came to my school along with another girl um, and yeah basically she introduced us and we were both really quiet we both didn't talk for a while and we sat with each other at lunches and then eventually we warmed up from there and we just being best friends since. So yeah, that's like my longest friendship right there. I think it's nearly, oh, about nine years, I think. So yeah, that's, yeah, she's my best friend. I say, yep, very boring story, but that's how we met. What's your favorite cheesy pickup line? I can't think of any, there's a lot. I don't, don't know if I have a favourite because I like them all just because of the, just how bad they sound. Um, oh, how's it go? Um, you know when someone says, did it hurt when you fell from heaven or something like that? I don't really know how it goes. But yeah, that one, I guess, because that one kind of it stuck with me and I thought it was pretty funny. Like, there's a lot of them. I can't pick just one. They're all the... They're all really, like, they're funny because they're bad, sort of thing. I guess that one. No, I don't even know how it goes, so that's pretty bad in itself. What's your dream wedding like? I don't even know, I haven't thought that far ahead. I guess something outside. I feel like if you have a whole bunch of people inside a building, like, it's it just doesn't feel as freeing I guess like oh I wouldn't want a beach wedding just because of too much sand but then again if you're outside the weather's unpredictable and I don't want it to start raining or like really windy because like it'll mess up my hair but I feel like it's something outside like even in the garden somewhere that has like a preview something like that sounds like it would be a good place to commit yourselves to one another in front of all your friends and family. Okay, shoot, shag, marry. I've got to choose between Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, Chris Hemsworth. And she added because she's evil. Yes, um, oh my god. I think I would marry Chris Evans just because he's so sweet and oh, he just seems like the marrying type. And then that leaves, I have to choose between Chris Pratt and Chris Hemsworth to shoot or shag. Oh my god, I, why would you make me choose? I'm going to feel terrible about this, but I would I have to say I would shoot Chris Pratt. But only because I've known him the least and longest out of everybody in the list. And I would shag Chris Hemsworth. Because... That was all my questions. Wow, I did that a lot quicker than I expected. And, oh, I mean, if you have other questions, sure, why not? I mean, I like talking, obviously, which is the point of this video. And if you don't get annoyed by hearing me talk for a long time, ask me questions. Tell me things to say. I feel like a complete idiot sitting here in my lounge room talking at the camera and there's nobody around. Make me feel good about myself so that I have someone to talk to. <laughs> uh, so, you thanks for my questions. Yay. I'm happy that I get to talk to everyone who ever wants me to talk back. So, thanks again. See ya.